Right, I've come to photograph some whales in the sea at Seaham. Why not join me? Alright, good morning, and you find me at Siam in the northeast coast. Um, I believe somewhere around here there's some wheels in the sea that I want to try and photograph, so that's why I've come here. And hopefully, once we've got those, we can uh, have a wander around and get some other seascapes. So, yeah, we'll see what we can find and yeah we'll see you a bit later so something a bit different Right, we've had a mooch around and we've taken some handheld pictures of the, the stack there with the sun behind, hopefully to get a sunburst. And we've had the drone out, so we've got plenty of B-roll with the drone and we're taking some images with the drone. But the main camera at the moment is just doing a time lapse. And we'll have to see how that comes out. And if I just come along here and let's zoom in. Oh, right, sorry about that. And I don't know whether you can see there are the actual wheels. I'm zoomed in, so hopefully you can see them. Um, and once the camera's finished, the time lapse, we're just gonna try and work out some, some compositions of those. And then once we've done that, we'll probably head back to the van and have some breakfast. I mean, it's what, it's getting on for eight o'clock. Got up at four, but ha had a sort of, protein bar thing but haven't really had any breakfast or a coffee or whatever so the stuff's in the van so once I've done that so anyway we'll move around get some compositions of those wheels see what else we can get and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've managed to come up with a composition. We've more or less come the other side of the um, of the wheels. I don't know whether you can actually see them there in the middle of the, the frame. 
but from the other side you're shooting into the sun whereas here we've got the sun lighting it and if I bring up the um, the 5D videoing through the the stills you can see there so what we've tried to do is um, just uh, I, say, I keep saying this the video is 16 by 9 whereas the actual image taken is is 3 before so the video does cut off a bit at the top and the bottom so the lighthouse would appear to be chopped but on the actual images the lighthouse is is there so the where well, you see the lighthouse there it is actually done and we've got the wheels in the middle and the third is around about there and what I've done I'm at I'm on the long lens the 24 not 24 70 to 200 and let's see if I bring let's let's zoom out so yeah you can see that there's the camera with the and we're at full zoom and the idea is that you've got as I say you've got the wheels there and you've got the lighthouse and with the the telephoto effect it sort of compresses them whereas if I'd gone closer uh, with a wider angle the lighthouse would seem farther away now whether I've left it a bit long because the the tide's gone out quite a bit now so um, yeah we're probably just about low tide but we're doing the time lapse it meant it, it's gone quite low but I mean whether it's worth waiting around Alamanar because it, it's going to be quite a wait and the light's not brilliant it's fairly clear skies so I mean, in a sense this is partly a recce of, of the site um, to see what is possible etc I have seen some images where obviously there's more movement in the waves and you get that sort of with a long exposure that misty effect um, whether I'll do any long exposures I'm not quite sure because I don't think it's really going to make that much difference but we'll maybe try to see, see what see how they come out um, but that's the composition and yeah whatever's uh, the best we'll put up on the video and yeah we'll see you a little bit later Right, well, having been back to the van and had my breakfast, I decided I would come back down. As you can see there, the, the wheels are now not quite underwater, but a bit more water, which is quite good. So I'm going to 
just hang around till they're more or less submerged, taking various images at various shutter speeds and see what we end with. Um, and I'll put whatever's best up and you then compa compare it with the one I would have put up before I had my breakfast. So yeah, we'll get some images there and then we're going to head um, to the harbour and maybe try and get some of the lighthouse. They're not going to be brilliant, I don't think, because the light is fairly bland. But yeah, we'll carry on here for the time being and we'll see you a bit later. Right, we've come to the marina and harbour and I was hoping to get some images of the lighthouse. But as you can see there's a, a gate here and it's um, only members of a certain fishing club can, can go on. But um, I have managed to, as you can see, get the camera through the... Uh, the gap in the, the fence and you can see the lighthouse there so yeah I managed to get some handheld images taking some others going around the marina as well I'll take some more and any that are any good we'll put up and I think we're just going to head back to the, the van so and just looking over there there is <coughs> that's looking towards Sunderland and I can see there are some sea stacks, but they're quite a way along, so it's be a very long way to, to walk, I think. So maybe I will look at the map, but I'm probably not going to walk there. Probably just have a wander around the marina, harbour, get some more images, and, and then head back to the van. So anyway, we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, so we've come into the town now from the marina. I thought I'd try and do a bit of street photography if there's anything worth capturing the images of. But I thought, came across this place and thought it's a bit of a time for a bit of refreshment. So here we are in refreshment. Then through some of the, the streets of the town, the main streets, and then back to the van. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're on our way back to the van now. We've come out of the town. There wasn't an awful lot to be had in the way of street photography. And as we came out of the last image we've captured is just of the lighthouse with a sort of leading line up to it. Uh, you'll have seen that if it was any good. Well, I'll have put it up anyway. I think it's reasonable. So you've seen that. So I think it's been a good day. I'm wilting a bit at the moment. Um, the night before last, I didn't have a very good night's sleep at home at all. And then in the tent last night, wasn't the brilliant, most brilliant of night's sleep. And I did set the alarm for four, because the nearest campsite we could get was nearly, what? Well, three quarters of an hour away from from CM, so. We set the alarm at, um, let's say, four to get packed up and everything and to get to to here for, um, for before sunrise. And sunrise was a bit of a, a damp squid. Um, there's virtually no clouds in the sun sky but there was a bit of a cloud bank on the horizon on the north sea so the sun was a little late coming up and it's certainly going down by the things it called chemical beach where the the, the the wagon wheels are that was very good um, and as you'll have seen initially I uh, fiddle and whatever around a bit during the time lapse and whatever and then by the time I came to capture images of the wagon wheels the, the tide had gone out a bit too far so I did take some and then went back up to the van and did some breakfast had a coffee etc and yeah that reminded me a bit and I decided to go back down to the beach and get some as you'll have seen as the tide came in and got the wheels at various stages various stages of um, of, of the tide coming in till they were virtually covered so I mean that was the main aim coming and then we went in to, to see him and I must admit I was a bit disappointed uh, the marina and that I got some images but it wasn't brilliant and the fact that 
the um, what they call it <laughs> the lighthouse the pier was was fenced off it was only available to to various fishermen and that so that was extremely disappointing so I mean I did get some and hopefully you'll have seen them and hopefully they came out reasonably well so but yeah no the ones of the wagon wheels I think were quite good just a shame that there was no colour in the sky very bland sky but hopefully we've got some reasonable images and that so yeah so this I mean we're, we're Saturday now this will be coming out a week tomorrow and there is a video coming out tomorrow which will you might have seen by now and that was going up wide burn to capture images of the waterfalls and cascades so where we're going in the near future I don't know week after next I'm planning on possibly having a day or two in Northumberland go and see my aunt for her birthday and hopefully get some some good images I'm particularly thinking about Dunstanborough Castle which I've never um, photographed before so but I would like to just remind people if you've enjoyed if you haven't already done please click the, the thumbnail uh, the thumbs up rather and if you like what I'm doing why not subscribe it all does the channel great good and it helps to spread it around to those who might be interested so yeah and whatever you do please comment I do appreciate all comments um, and do answer all comments even if it's just a thank you and I do, I do take note of what people say and try and uh, adjust the videos in line with what people have said so yeah so I think um, we'll maybe leave it there we're nearly back at the van so we'll leave it there and we'll see you on the next video